Hey guys, welcome back. It's another Friday, so it's another Minifig CMF series. And this week we're going to be looking at the Disney Series 2 collection. So this collection is quite a lot different to the original Series 1 collection. I feel like there's a lot of more subtle characters, not as often used. And some of these actually have never appeared in any other sets. So this is really, really cool. This is the kind of Minifig series that I really, really like. So, quickly, just going through them all, we have Chip and Dale. We have Huey, Dewey and Louie, I can never remember which order they are, uh, Scrooge McDuck, we get the vintage Mickey and the vintage Minnie, and then over here we have Ailsa, we have Anna, Edna and Frozone, and then we have Hades, Hercules, Sally and Jack, Jafar and Jasmine. So, quite a lot of kind of really big Disney films, but that actually don't appear in many Lego sets. So, obviously this is going to be my worst to first, so let's get straight into it. And starting the list is going to obviously be uh, Chip. Okay, so why have I said obviously Chip? Well, just look at him. He's got no printing on his legs. Now, the one cool thing that I do like with this character is the fact that he has the teen legs, which were obviously first uh, on Harry Potter characters. I do like that, but that is about it, because you don't often see those legs much. But the back printing is just really, really plain on this character. Chip's not a very nostalgic character for me anyway. In fact, he's just appeared on really rubbish stuff like I think it was Chippendale Rescue Rangers when I was a kid. No one really cares. Uh, and these guys are also in the Disney train set, which again, I think a lot of people didn't want or didn't ask for. Um, his accessory here is absolutely terrible. Um, it's a nut for some reason. And the only good thing about it is, is you could take the top off and use it as a uh, part of a drinks um, can or something. But other than that, yeah, he's absolutely rubbish. Okay, so in at number 17 is his co-host, I suppose, which is Dale. Now, Dale, actually, the minifigure, is a little bit cooler than, than Chip, just for the fact that he's got the, the buck teeth, which gives him a little bit more character, I think, um, and his expression just does look a little bit better on this character. The paler colour is, I mean, I actually prefer the darker brown, but the reason that I put him slightly higher is I prefer the accessory, basically, which is the bag. At least you can use that in, in more places. But other than that, he's exactly the same as the other guy, just a slightly paler colour. Even the printing's pretty much the same on the torso, slightly different accent tuft on the front, but other than that, he's the same. And the paint's just really, really shoddy on these, mainly probably because of the paleness with the white showing through, but yeah, these guys are definitely probably on everyone's low list. Okay, so coming in at number 16 is the start of the, the trio of the little ducks from DuckTales, because sadly they just haven't worked that well in minifigure form. So my worst one of these guys is Louie. So taking a deep look at Louie, what I'm trying to say with why they haven't kind of gone well into this is the fact that they just have a very solid coloured torso, which I just think just doesn't look very nice in minifig form. They haven't really added any kind of design to them where they could have made it look ruffled or more like a t-shirt. And um, the legs are just the short legs and um, they are dual molded. But again, it's just very, very plain, no printing on them at all. And then the minifigure heads are actually identical. They're all exactly the same bar the different hats they're put on. But all the hats are the same, that exact same mould, just in different colours. So the reason I put um, Louie at the bottom is because he just has a lightsaber hilt, which I'm a massive Star Wars fan, so I have so many of these, it's absolutely pointless to give me another one. Uh, and then it has a yellow translucent um, stud on the top, just to kind of give it that look of a torch. But basically it's, it's all down to the minifigure accessory with these guys, and that's why he is the lowest one. So coming in at number 15 is again one of those uh, ducks, but it's going to be Dewey. Now, actually, I do quite like the blue on this character, at least. Uh, I do think it looks slightly better than the green. But again, it's only because of the accessory with this character, and he has the slingshot, which was obviously made famous with Bart Simpson and the Simpsons characters. But because of that, it is a little bit of a rarer accessory, so at least that's kind of good. And you do get two in the bag, which is quite nice as well. And coming in at number 14 is Huey, and that's mainly because I really do like the book that he comes with, and it does have two printed pieces, so that's quite nice, it can be used in lots of different places, um, and yeah, it's just a cool, cooler accessory than the others by far, so that's why. Okay, so in at number 13 is sadly, I have to say, Frozone from The Incredibles. Okay, so I put him so low down, although he's actually unique to this minifig series collection and we don't have a Frozone, we should be getting more Incredibles sets, so I think that really they should put those in normal sets. It is cool that we get him, um, I just think that he's just not that he's just not exciting or appealing. He only has one facial expression, obviously, because of how they've done the uh, the minifigure head, which is understandable. 
but it's quite a plain uh, piece really and just think that I'm just not that excited by the minifigure sadly and that's sad because it is a really cool character but I think as you could see from last week's ones with these series one I wasn't that into the Incredibles what they've done there with them I think that Mr. Incredibles really really short and Syndrome just didn't he looked too tall so I think the proportions are a little bit out with these characters so yeah that's why he's low down in the list for me okay coming in at number 12 is actually from the same film which is the Edna Mode character now, I think they've done a really good job with this character, actually. Um, one, if she does have dual face expression. Uh, I think the frownier one looks more like the character. She does have two um, accessories, which is really nice for a Disney minifigure, and with a printed two by one piece, which always looks nice. But I, again, I just think it's more the uh, underwhelmingness of the Incredibles minifigures more than the actual minifigure itself. And I just think that there are some really good ones higher up in this list. Okay, coming in at number 11 is actually a minifigure with a pet, which uh, you know, everyone knows that I like the animal minifigures, but it is Jasmine from Aladdin. Now, I put Jasmine here because at the time she would have been much higher up, but now we seem to get this white bird in quite a lot of actual uh, Lego accessories, so I've got quite a few of these now, which is awesome. The white bird is absolutely brilliant. And I've also been getting them in a few extra colours as well, such as blue from the bookshop. But So the minifigure accessory is really, really good, but now, sadly, it's only based on the minifigure, and I think they've done quite a good job of her with her, but she could have easily had a dual facial expression, which they didn't put on, and the body torso itself just looks a little bit off with the, the negative space being this darker brown for her body, especially next to the teal colouring, and the sides just don't look quite right because of the tealness, uh, seeing as she's supposed to be like almost naked, really, in the, uh, in the films. Uh, and her legs are just one colour, so they're just really, really boring and plain. So yeah, I think the minifigure itself is quite uninspiring, yet the minifigure accessory is really, really cool. Okay, so we're into the top 10 now, and starting off at number 10, I think is one of the coolest Disney films that we'll probably never get a set for, so that's why I'm putting him here, is Hades from the Hercules film. Now, I remember the Hercules series when I was a kid and really, really liked that, so Hercules has quite a nice uh, nostalgic spot in, for me, but they've done a great job with this character. Um, he, the fact that his hair is actually moulded onto the, the head is really, really cool. Um, he's, the fire accessories aren't that great, but it does the job. And just the fact that they've got his facial expression nailed down perfectly. Uh, they could have really, really cheaped out with this character and just used the same body, um, sorry, the same leg accessories as Ursula. But they haven't. They've done a, another mould again for this guy, which is really, really cool. They even added subtle printing in blue on it to match up with his, uh, his tunic at the top as well. So I think all in all they've really, really gone full 100% on this minifigure and I think it's a really, really high quality minifig and also from a really, really good film that we probably won't get any of these minifigs anytime soon. Coming in at number 9 is a more common character but in an uncommon colour, which is Mini, or should we say Vintage Mini, which I think is what she's actually referred to as. Now, I put these guys lower down because I put them very high up in the last series one, having Mini and Mickey. Now, these guys are very, very collectible, and I think these are the ones that people are going to be going after more than anything. But we did have the Steamboat Willie actual set that you could buy, which these are different to those minifigs, I'm not going to lie. But, and I actually do think these ones are better as well, because they're not as shiny and silvery. But we do actually get a set similar to these, so I think these were a little bit of a, an annoying addition to this set, and they could have done a lot better characters, such as Goofy, which isn't in this series yet again. But... Again, this is just pretty much the exact same one as we got with Series 1, just that the uh, she's now got no top on all, it's just plain black, just like the Mickey one. The uh, dress piece is exactly the same, but in a darker, um, in a light grey, sorry, to look more like black and white from the Steamboat Willie show that she was originally in. And other than that, it's just a more kind of black and white version of the one from Series 1. The accessory is just supposed to be like a... A safety ring but it's just yeah you get those everywhere in sets so that's not really a, a decent accessory so yeah that's why she's kind of mid mid tier she's a great collectible minifigure I know loads of people are going to want these ones but I don't think she's the top quality that's in this series right now so in at number eight is Minnie's counterpart which is the vintage Mickey now at least with his accessory it's absolutely freaking massive you don't get many pirate ship wheels or anything or ship wheels in general so it's kind of a cool accessory to have you can use it on on boats if you wanted to and stuff. This time he does have a hat, which is pretty cool because he didn't have a hat in his last one. And so now you can see why they put that stud on the character, which is pretty nice. And um, his white shorts look really, really cool. He doesn't have uh, gloves, 
which I think is actually the exact same as in the show. So yeah, all in all, I think he's quite a nice minifig, but again, we got these in Steamboat Willie collection, so I think, yeah, having these two in the CMF series is a little bit of a missed opportunity. Coming in at number seven, we have Anna from Frozen, and obviously Frozen 2. Now, these ones are higher up in the list, mainly because the quality of the minifigs are really, really good for these ones. They've got the new cloth cape, they've got printing on their back, even though they didn't need to with the cape. They've got the new uh, dress piece at the bottom, which is more the rounded slopes, which looks really, really nice with nice printing on. The lamp accessory is really nice as well, and these can be used anywhere, even if you get this minifigure. The hair has a really nice kind of rubberized feel to them, and they have dual facial expressions, which is really, really nice. But also, quite surprisingly to me, these are the only way you can get Elsa and Anna minifigs at the moment. So that makes them very, very collectible, especially with Frozen and Frozen 2 being such successful Disney uh, shows, Disney films. So. Very, very surprising, but yeah, definite one for anyone who wants to collect Disney minifigs. These ones are going to be very rare to get in the future. So obviously coming in at number six is Anna's sister, which is Ailsa. Ailsa's accessory is a bit of a weird one with this massive frozen kind of uh, frost, I don't know what you would call it, frost wand or just gigantic, I don't know, snowflake, but it's, it's cool nonetheless. Her printing again is really, really nice and she also has the dress piece. Now her cape is actually not the new one. I don't know why they've done that actually, but I think it just might be that she it's just the cutting or maybe, or how they've added the silver on. Maybe it's harder to get it onto the um, the new cloth ones, but all in all still looks really nice and she still has back printing. Her arm printing is really nice, her hair piece is cool. And again, she does have a dual face expression, which is really, really nice to get on these characters when they can. Um, so yeah, all in all, again, another very collectible minifigure because it's the only way you're going to get it. My top five. Okay, so this is mainly probably more nostalgia reasons for these guys, but coming in at number five is Scrooge McDuck. Now, Scrooge McDuck is a character that a lot of people were asking for, um, and I think they've done a great job with him here. Sadly, he does look a little bit taller. I wish they'd have put like, the teen legs on him because he does look very, very tall because of his tail piece added on as well. It gives him a little bit more height on the waist. Um, but yeah, other than that, he's got awesome dual molded legs, actually dual molded in red and then orange printed on top, which is quite, quite cool. The printing comes through the blue very nice on the white, which just makes it look all like a unique piece. Now his accessories are pretty cool with the, the 10 cent um, coin stud, but Obviously the walking stick they haven't done anything special with, which is absolutely fine. It's the same one that Yoda has. So if Yoda can have it, then Scrooge McDuck can have it. Um, the unique face moldings really, really cool with the glasses and the fact that they've got the little top hat as well. Um, and actually his, his body is actually really, really cleanly printed. There's not much on there, but it does work very well. And obviously Scrooge McDuck's just a character that we're definitely not going to be getting a minifig uh, set for or um, you know a, a ducktail set. So I think it's really cool to have him. Sadly, we had to sacrifice having Huey doing it in Louie in, in order to get Scrooge McDuck, but I'll take that because this guy is such a cool minifig. Okay, so in at number four is one of my favourite Christmas movies of all time, but it's actually Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, Sally's up here mainly just due to how high quality this character is in terms of printing. If you look at the body and the legs, just the way they've actually done all the printing for it, it looks really crisp and clean and everything comes through really, really nice. Her legs are actually dual molded separately, so one of them is dual molded in Nougat and one of them is dual molded in the two greens, which really makes the pattern look really, really nice and come through crisp. Her black flower is quite cool, she has two of those in the pack, and again, she also has a dual molded head. This is also a new, unique hair piece in this really nice red colour, which can be used for way more than just her. But I just think the quality of the, the minifig really comes through here, and I think, yeah. This is a great one. I don't think we'll get a Nightmare Before Christmas set anytime soon. It'd be really cool to get one, especially in the Christmas collections. But for now, I'm happy to get Jack and Sally, which I can put in my Christmas sets when it comes around. So coming in at number three is Jack Skellington to match Sally. And you know, this guy is just really, really well produced. Again, another high quality minifig. You can see by all the really tight white lines around that they've done a really good job of capturing this. His face is just brilliant, he's got the sunken eyes and the stitched mouth just looks absolutely incredible. And the fact that he's got a nose, which a lot of minifigures don't have. In fact, I think the only one that I can think of is Voldemort. 
In fact, even the latest Gru character doesn't have a nose at all, which just makes him look terrible. But I think here he needs one and it does a really, really good job. Now, I don't like the box accessories, but they've got one here and it does look quite nice for as far as boxes go. He also has these little snowflakes inside, so you get quite a few of those, which is quite nice to have, I suppose. They can be used in Christmas sets like, uh, when, when it's time to unbox those. And I do really like the, uh, the use of this little bow tie with the bat. I think it looks really, really cool and really well made. And even though it raises his head a little bit, I think it gives him a little bit more of that height that I would have liked. Sadly, his legs are the normal legs, and I kind of think that the woody ones that they had previously would have looked quite cool. But maybe this would have made them look a little bit too tall and not minifigure enough. So, I don't know. Maybe they could have done the, the studs, that, um, the longer studs, which were on the clown one from the People Pack. But nevertheless, I think they've done a really good job with this guy and the quality of the actual minifigure, he's going to be very, very collectible. And I don't think we're going to be getting a Nightmare Before Christmas set anytime soon. Okay, so we're down to the last two. And if you've been keeping up with which ones are in the sets, these two are quite, they're not the top tier that you would expect from a Disney film, but I think these niche ones are really, really cool and nice to have. So in at number two is Jafar. Now, they've captured Jafar so well in this. His, his headpiece is absolutely amazing. Again, pro the fact that they've got a new cloth, the new cloth cape, which looks really nice and it's really well cut into his shoulder pads here. They've given him a dual, mold, a dual expression face again, and the smirk one just captures everything about Jafar from the films. So I think it's an absolute great, great expressions here. Now the printing on the body is actually quite weak, but I just think it works really well and the fact that he's still got a back printing even though they didn't need to do it with the cape really adds. And again, the bottom the uh, the bottom piece, the, the new dress piece, doesn't have any printing on, but I think it just suits well and it kind of matches in with the character. And his actual accessory has been used in older sets, this uh, the Cobra staff, but it just works so well, so why change it? But I think all in all, this really captures Jafar from Aladdin, and it's a great piece to have because I don't think we're going to be getting any Aladdin sets. So now we've got uh, Jafar, Jasmine, Aladdin, and the Genie. So we've got the main four characters in the CMF series, which is really, really cool. And in at number one has to be Hercules. I mean, they've done an absolutely fantastic job with this character. The printed shield looks absolutely brilliant. The cloth cape again, which is awesome. It's really clean and crisp printing and lots of detail on his arms and his legs which is really really nice. Dual molded legs again to capture those two colours crisply. And the sword again, it's just a normal sword from a lot of sets but it just works so well. He also has a dual facial expression which is really really nice and his orange hair, I mean he's a fellow gin so that's why he's going to be at the top of this list. A great one as well. And it just captures everything about him, the wispy hair, we're not going to be getting a Hercules set anytime soon, so this is just an absolute awesome, awesome minifigure. Really high quality and a really nostalgic series for me. So that's why Hercules is at number one. Okay, so that's my review of the Disney Series 2 collection. I think all in all this is an absolute great collection with some really niche characters like Scrooge McDuck and Hercules, which I absolutely love in these series. We also get Ailsa and Anna, which is quite amazing that they're the only way you can get these characters. So I think they would be a lot higher on the list for a lot of other people. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, because I'd really be interested if you're anywhere near kind of the same thoughts as me. Um, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't yet to the channel, because it really, really helps me. Um, but yeah, that's it for this week. Next week we'll be doing another one. Uh, and also we have Minifig Mondays on a Monday and Big Builds on a Wednesday. And I might also start live streaming on a Tuesday and a Wednesday night as well. So let me know if you are interested in that. But that's it for now. Have a safe day and please carry on building Lego and stay safe at home.